What's up, you all? It's your girl. I'm so hyped. We are doing 30 full days of daily vlogs. Today is August 1, um, and I am super excited about these everyday vlogs. I mean, it's pushing me to be more consistent. Hubby is off today. I'm so happy about it because I'm actually able to get some things done during the day without having to take everybody with me. Y'all know it's my favorite thing to do. Um, I'm out running some errands. I need to get a P.O. box. Everybody is bugging me about, not bugging me, okay, because I love y'all. But everybody is blowing me up asking me when I'm going to get a P.O. box because people want to send stuff for the kids. They want to send stuff for me. Y'all know my birthday is coming up next week, okay? So if you guys want to send me a gift, okay, don't don't be afraid. Go ahead and send your girl a gift card to Sephora or a gift card to Starbucks. Y'all know I love me some Starbucks or, you know, a gift card to Ross. Hey, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, let me stop i always keep a lip gloss on me because the worst thing you can be is ashy and have dry lips i try to remind my girls that all the time you know i even remind my boys because just because you're a boy doesn't mean it's okay to be um doesn't mean you know doesn't mean that it's okay to be like um you know dirty or something try you know ashy and cracked you know what i mean so anyway I make sure to let the kids know, like, it's very important. Yeah, y'all. Oh, new set. I'm going to get y'all in the light here in a second and show y'all. But new set by your girl, okay? Watch out. Just call me Nail Technician Chrissy, okay? But, yeah. So cute. In the light, it's even better. Oh, my gosh. You think that's cute? <laughs> I also had a giveaway, a formula giveaway on my mommy Facebook moms group. Now, y'all, my Facebook moms group is popping, okay? It is popping try to do a giveaway once a month on there just because I like to I don't know I like to do stuff nice for people I don't know what it is about me and I recognize that I'm blessed and so I like to give back you know I'm not rich by any means y'all know that I say this all the time I'm not rich I don't pretend to be I'm not trying to you know act like I have a whole bunch to give because I don't but I do what I do have, I do like to give. And sometimes it, it costs me something, and sometimes it doesn't cost me much, or sometimes it's just, a, you know, whatever. But I like to give it to people, because if I, it's like, you know, last week, last month, I did a Sephora gift card giveaway, for example. Starbucks, what can I get for you? Yeah, can I get a Grande Ultra Caramel Frat? Okay. That'll be all. All right, Grande Ultra Caramel, gonna be 568. Thanks. Thank you. I did a little giveaway on these little cans of formula. I had a whole bunch of samples. You know when you sign up for, I'm old girl, y'all, if y'all don't know me, I am in, I got my ear to the streets, okay? I have my ear to the streets, I have my ear to social media, and then I just know the game, because I've, I've been doing this for so long. I know how to get a lot of free stuff, you know what I mean? I'm like really good at getting free shit for babies. I know how to sign up. You sign up, you get coupons, you get stuff. So anyway, people are, always, I'm always getting stuff, especially from when I had Blaze. I have a whole, I had a, three cans of this, these little infamils, and I had three cans of the Similax and so I picked one mom for the Similax who wanted the Similax and one mom who wanted the Infamils and I'm gonna send these off today so ladies if you're watching you should be getting these this week okay I know I said I was gonna send them off last week but you know I got busy your girl just just I have a lot going on right now I'm just a busy woman um but yeah I'm gonna send those off today too so I have some things to do also y'all know I told you um I mentioned that mom might come out this week but she's starting a new job next week and um so she's i don't know if she's gonna be able to kind of swing it she was gonna try to make a little a little trip out here but i don't think she thinks she's gonna be able to do it she's trying to rest up for her job which by the way let me just say this my mom is retired and she's still she's like me that's where i get my hustle from right you know she wanted to find a little part-time job and stuff like that and work and then she ended up you know getting a whole new job and a whole other field making some bomb ass money and i'm like well go ahead girl you know what I'm saying? Even though you're supposed to be resting nowadays, you know what I mean? But you can't tell my mama nothing, but that's how I am. That's where I get my hustle from, y'all. Off topic, y'all. Oh my gosh. Okay, so y'all know, of course, we just moved to Vegas. If you don't know, welcome. If you're, if you're new here and you don't know that, we just moved to Vegas. Yes. Okay, your girl loves it. My neighbors seem pretty cool. They keep putting their trash and recycle bins on my like right by my driveway and you know because I live on a cul-de-sac you know what I'm saying so 
their house is like on that corner house, you know, right there. It's like you have plenty of space to put, they could even, there's like an empty space on the other side of their house where there's like a wall, there's nothing there. They could even be putting their trash cans right there. Our trash does not get picked up until Friday and it's only Wednesday. So understand, you're putting your recycle bin out on the curve three days before it's supposed to be on the curve and you're putting it by my house. Instead of it looking like it's supposed to, like it's at your house, you're the one who's putting that out in front, it's looking like I'm putting trash out three days early and y'all know how HOA is. Stop putting your trash so close to my house, neighbor. Shit. Took the kids, we went and got breakfast so I didn't have to cook this morning and so now hubby is wanting breakfast and I'm like eh, I'm not cooking for you that sounds that sounds fucked up doesn't it my bad you all I don't care I'm not cooking because I have all this stuff to do and by the time I get back it's gonna be a few hours you know what I mean so I'm like you know let me just go get you a breakfast burrito or something like a you know or breakfast I don't know breakfast from somewhere oh, this coffee's life got the burritos Ooh. They're all hot and steamy. Mm, they look good. I'm, I'm hungry. So I actually ended up sitting down for a minute and just eating real quick. I left everything in the car, so you'll have to wait till later to see the kids, all right? Um, you know, sometimes I feel like you'll like them more than me, though. You know, what's wrong? What's going on with that? This is, this is, this is, this is about me, too. I need the love, too. It's all right. I forgive you. They're so damn cute. How could you not love to see those faces? My birthday is next week, you all. I will be the big 28. I don't think I'll be doing anything, nothing much. I mean, I'm starting to get to know some people out here, but I don't know anybody like that to where I could like make plans, you know what I mean? Um, and so I, I, what the plan is, is I just really wanna do a dinner. Do you, I mean, do people still ask y'all what you want for your birthday? My, the only one who really asked me what I want for my birthday is my mom she'd be like so what do you want for your birthday i say the same thing every year money my mom's one of those people she would rather buy you a gift than give you cash i know we're just talking a lot in the car today but today is Aaron day so hope y'all don't mind okay thanks in advance i think i briefly went over the fact that i ikea I went the first my first time ever being inside of an ikea was the other day when i lived in colorado the only ikea that was closest to me was like 45 minutes away so it was like I never went I literally live a hop skip and a jump from one now like literally it's five minutes from my house the day I was driving by and I said I'm just gonna stop in here and go in ain't nothing quick about going to Ikea if you go to Ikea you might as well just clear out the rest of your afternoon morning whatever because you are gonna be there for a while I literally almost had a fucking panic attack it's like a maze they don't tell you this. I mean, somebody should have forewarned your girl. Like you have to literally, like you, you literally, you gotta, you gotta go through the whole thing. You know, they have little signs that say shortcut here, shortcut there. But for the most part, you gotta, uh, you gotta, you gotta walk that. They're gonna force you to buy something. There will be something in there that's gonna catch your eye for an amazing price. And you're gonna be like, I gotta have it. I don't like it because there are no windows. There are emergency doors, but like, what if I just want some fresh air and I just feel like I need to take a break, you know? Or I just need to walk out, I just wanna leave. I just, I don't wanna walk for 20 more minutes to find an exit. I just wanna leave to go to my car. I'm like, damn, how many more floors do I have to go on? Like, how many more levels are there in this motherfucker? It don't even look like it's this complicated from the outside. You walk in there and you, you might need to bring, you know, some camping supplies just in case you fucking get lost. I am just saying. Somebody needs to warn you. Anyway, like I was saying before I got distracted by all this Ikea stuff, because I just passed by it, so it just came to my mind. Even though I'm not really doing anything, I don't really have any plans, I probably will go to Ross today and see if they have anything, like a dress or something. You know, it's my birthday, I'm 28. I get to the post office. I spend like 35 minutes here filling out my application for a P.O. box. Get to the lady and she's like, we're out of, we're out of, P.O. boxes completely. I'm like, what? I didn't even know that shit was possible. How do you not have, how do you run out of P.O. boxes? But I did send off my formula to my two winners from my Melanin Mamas group. 
If you haven't already made yourself a part of our Melanin Mamas Facebook group, you need to get yourself on there, like now, okay? Y'all need to be a part of that group because not only is it lit, we have fun, we can vent to each other about whatever. If you guys are at all interested, please be sure to add our Facebook Mommies group. So man, Ross, I'm supposed to be in here shopping for me and I'm in here shopping for these kids. I ended up in the kid section. I saw this for Blaze. Oh, these little onesies, so cute. Oh my gosh, they're only $10 and I saw these Pumas. They're so cute and they're like that real soft material. Only problem is they are so light that I know they have like that sock fit, that Balenciaga fit for the girls. For Let's see, they're 13. I don't know who. Let's see. These would probably be a little big for Kaya, but I'm sure she could probably fit them. At least grow into them, but they are so cute. I don't know. Oh my gosh, look at these. I got a thing for fire. Ooh, and they light up. Oh, that's so dope. Oh my gosh, what size are these 11s? They look like they've been worn though, or somebody's been trying them on, but. So cute. How much are these? 15 bucks? Oh my goodness. You all, if I can find another pair of these, I don't care, I'm buying them. These are so cute. But they're so light. I hate light colored shoes on kids. They're not going to do anything but scuff them up and get them dirty. And then they're not going to look cute anymore. Oh, they're so cute though. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to look around a little bit. So, it didn't work. So you want to know what a damn shame is? I'm going to tell you what a damn shame is, okay? What is a damn shame? <sighs> Fix my little hair real quick. What a damn shame is. I'm not putting my seatbelt on because I'm just going in the same parking lot. I'm gonna go go get cash out of my account so that I don't have, I don't have to think about it. I just know I got $50 and I'm not gonna go over and blah, blah, all this other stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I should be able to go in and get what I need for $50. First of all, y'all saw, I went in there, didn't even go to my section first. Where do I go? To the kids section. What is wrong with your girl? Even on my birthday, on days that it's supposed to be for me, thinking of me, I am still, worried about these dang on kids just struggle life of a mother okay thank god thank you jesus he always looks out had i found the shoes that i wanted in the sizes that i wanted in multiples everybody would have got some new shoes today but i did end up buying cat i did end up buying kingston some slides because he needs some slides he needs like some sh some shoes he could just throw on with some basketball shorts you know around the house or to the store or whatever you know he needs some of those type shoes i go into ross i say i'm always gonna spend fifty dollars right right wrong okay i go into ross i get seven things that's i'd be counting how many things i got on my receipt like even when i got up there i was like whoa 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 whoa, whoa. wait a minute wait a minute why, 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 why does this stuff cost this much? I only got like four things. What's going on? This is why I'm telling you, Ross be getting me every single time. I ended up spending 90 bucks. Didn't I say I was going in there to only spend $50? Didn't I say that? <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. That's my birthday gift to myself. Are they comfortable? Yeah. Okay, cool. What you guys doing? You didn't watch. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hey, Lace is over there with Daddy. Hello. <laughs> look at him looking at me. Hello, my little looker kid. You're so cute. Hey y'all. Play whistle game. You're making a big mess, Kimora. Mm. You better eat all that. Junebug's helping you eat yours. Mm. Hey. Mm. <laughs> the nachos are good, huh, Bubby? I like nachos too, I'm gonna taste some. I'm gonna dip in both. Push through trolls. And of course somebody opened it before Can I could I even slow? barely get it in the house. And by somebody, I mean Kinsley. <sighs> Ooh, I'm looking a mess, child. I need to get my life together. Here it is, the day is over and I'm just completely drained. I think I'm gonna take a bubble bath. Get this vlog posted for you guys sooner rather than later because a deal is a deal a promise is a promise i just got some braiding hair from this hair store um 
I'm gonna do the girls hair company that made this purple um, nail shimmer and it's a it's basically a glitter gel look at that oh, yes so green is my favorite color so I thought I'd try this cocoa butter um, chapstick which is always needed because like I told y'all can't be walking around with dry lips or and stuff and 100% cocoa butter is so good for the skin guys like it is so good back when I was in um, middle school and high school well, more more so well, middle school and high school um, I had this regimen where I would like do and one of I think one of my friends told taught me how to do it but anyway because you notice when you get pimples a lot more and stuff like that just get regular rubbing alcohol the thing is is that you have to make sure you moisturize really good because if you're gonna use alcohol on your face it is very drying I would do like alcohol and then put it like on a little ma on a little what makeup remover pad or whatever and just go all over my face to clean it and then you can see all the dirt come off Ugh. but then I would go in with my cocoa butter and then rub that in really good that's probably a great deal of, of why I have oh at least okay skin natural skin you know what I mean and then I'll show you guys my birthday outfit isn't it cute I'm not usually a yellow person but yellow really looks good on african-american women okay brown skin women and it's like a flowy dress it's an off the shoulder and it's kind of got like this scrunched sleeve and then I have a really cute belt that I'm gonna put with it I found shoes that went perfect with it look at that well I have a free minute to relax I'm gonna just take advantage of that plus I have some planning and stuff that I need to do for the upcoming webinar this Friday so like I said again if you have not locked in your spot go and email me DM me whatever to lock in your spot for this Friday's webinar I do have a few spaces available subscribe if you have not already subscribed I mean if you've gotten this far in the video and you have not pressed that button yet press that button okay press it girl just press it commit follow through okay all right y'all love y'all I'll see y'all tomorrow